Hi, we're Douglas and Esperanza, and like many of you, we feel like we've lived a blessed life with amazing family and friends. We've had many incredible adventures in the past, and we know the best memories aren't made and everything goes as planned. We've worked hard since we were young, and after seeing people around us taken before they could enjoy their lifetime of hard work, we decided to sell everything and make our dreams a reality so that we can live before we die. Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Duplis and Esperanza's Adventures. In today's episode, we are still on our road trip and we are heading into Baja Sur. And so we're gonna show you a couple of the really cool towns along the way. Uh, San Ignacio and Santa Rosalia. You'll get to see some really white knuckle driving on some of the narrow windy roads down through the mountain. And keep in mind, we're towing a 30 foot travel trailer the whole way. So it definitely gets a little sketchy at times. So if you like our videos, go ahead right now and hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we put out new videos every week. All right, let's check out our road trip to Baja Sur. The town of San Ignacio was originally a indigenous settlement of Kadakaman, hopefully I pronounced that right, and was at a site where there is a natural spring that forms a pond and eventually a river which flows all the way down to the Pacific Ocean into the lagoon of San Ignacio, which is a birthing place and sanctuary for the Pacific Gray Whale. I want to live here. <laughs> This San Ignacio is so beautiful. The center square here in the middle of town with these unbelievable huge, huge trees. And then this architecture of these colonial buildings is so amazing. And there is a huge kind of lake uh, thing here. And then the big, huge mission here, Mission Church. Wow, steps coming up here. These grounds are just beautiful. And this was built, we just saw it in 1716. And it's still here standing.
So, Esperanza was just saying we're about the worst YouTube YouTubers ever because once again, we get our food at San Ignacio and it's really good. And of course we ate everything before we even talked about it. You didn't get a before picture, sorry. There's, there's <laughs> the pancakes. Okay, so chilaquiles were traditional. Chilaquiles, really good. Good sauce. <laughs> Doggies. Doggies are always your friend when you're eating in Mexico. And so then Esperanza got these pancakes and they literally taste like they're made out of cake batter. These are super, super good pancakes. I'm glad we got them. I'm gonna eat them before the two penny flies get on them. We just came across this beautiful, beautiful cemetery. We always have so many bigger buildings like this. They really respect the people who've passed. Wow. So gorgeous. This turned out to be one of the scariest sections of Highway 1 that we drove on with the trailer. Uh, this particular section is coming down out of the mountains to the Gulf of California. As you can see, the road is narrow and very curvy, and in most places there is no guardrail and a significant drop-off. It also has a very significant grade that I would guesstimate eight or nine percent. We always try to use engine braking as much as possible while driving the trailer because uh, your brakes can heat up very quickly even if you have trailer brakes and once the brakes heat up uh, they can start to lose uh, braking effectiveness and it's possible to lose your brakes altogether. This was the biggest white knuckle section of the drive and we were both extremely happy when we made it down to the bottom. Santa Rosalia is a cute little town on the Gulf of California in Mexico and it was founded as a mining town by a French company in 1884 that was established to mine copper and it ran through the 1980s mining copper, cobalt, zinc, and manganese. It was closed in the 80s, but was reopened again when copper mining became profitable again in the early 2000s. is 
very unique in Baja because it has a significant French influence and reminds you of a lot of the other French influenced towns around the world like New Orleans in the United States. It also is very unique in Baja because the buildings are mostly constructed out of wood, whereas the majority of buildings in Mexico are constructed of concrete block or brick. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. In the next video, we are going to make it to Mulahe on our road trip south, and then we will head down to Loreto, so you won't want to miss that. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to live before you die.